Hello everybody, New Manchester here, back with another video, and I am at a park, um, Driller Park, Driller Park in Kilgore, Texas, and, um, and there's no one here, so I'm the only one here, well, there's some, there's some parents with children here. Wait a minute, yeah, they were here, but they're not here anymore, they're gone. So, looks like I got this entire park to myself. And, looks like someone left a bottle of Gatorade and, a, and an empty pill bottle behind. And probably this is from a um, pill head. Yeah, anyway. So, um... Before I start this video, um, someone who's a viewer, who's a daily viewer of of the videos up on my channel, left a comment telling me about um, black people in Canada copy African Americans and they try to act like them. And do things that they do. Um, well, um, and he al he also stated that um, black Canadians are of um, Caribbean Caribbean descent, um, Jamaicans and Haitians, and yeah, um, I know he said this to me in a comment, but um. He's stating that um, Af um, black Canadians in Canada try to copy um, African Americans here in the U.S. Um, well, um, some of those black Canadians are um, descendants of African slaves who escaped to Canada, who left this country through when slavery when slavery was going on, and they escaped. To Canada um, through the Underground Railroad with the help of Harriet Harriet Tubman and um, some of those um, black Canadians of African-American um, descent are living in um, who, who are living in um, in, in, in two provinces in Canada two provinces in Canada, excuse me, um, they, um, we'll see, some live in, um, southern Ontario, and are, and they live in, um, Toronto, and others, there's a, there's a good population of them living in, um, Nova Scotia, and, and, no, and in Nova Scotia, they live in, um, some live in a city called Africa, Afri Afriville and um I think the the government built a um church for them for apology for to apologize for for poor treatment towards them and um and there's this black woman Desmond something I don't know what her name is um I think she's on it I think she's on the um the um the the ten dollar bill in Canada. Um, I think she replaced um, um, Sir John A. John A. Uh, McDonald. Um, yeah, I think she's a woman that was kicked out of a movie theater because um, she had no business being there because she was black. So um, don't want to go into history and all. Um, you know. Um, Heard a Canadian bashed Americans for their um, bizarre obsession with dead men in a piece of paper, meaning um, dead presidents and the uh, and the Constitution or the Bill of Rights. So yeah, um, don't want to um, drive any Canadians away from my video from this video. So I'm gonna stop there. 
I'm gonna talk about um in this video um the health of people in America um why people in America have have the worst health in the world well um here in America America has the highest rate of obesity and other health issues like um diabetes and hypertension aka high blood pressure well um high well yeah um, high blood pressure and diabetes is caused by you know people eating a lot of unhealthy foods and sometimes um the diabetes and the high blood pressure that people develop is genetic and people who don't have this genetic um ish this genetic um problem of having high blood pressure and diabetes um develop this um like people who have diabetes eat a lot of sugar way too much sugar and people who develop high blood pressure eat a lot of fried foods and a lot of fatty foods I think so um you know um the foods that people in America eat contains like um foods that are high in sugar high in salt high in calories high in cholest high in cholesterol and and artificial sugars like um high fructose corn syrup and a lot of chemicals that cause people to develop um high blood pressure and diabetes and cancer and and cause them to gain a lot of weight through obesity okay um the unhealthy foods in America are candy chips potato chips sugary sodas sugary drinks like fruit punch orange juice um let's see gum chewing gum bubble gum um, processed foods um, foods like you see yeah processed foods um, and fast foods and um people from foreign countries ate some of the unhealthy foods here in America and they said that um the foods that they ate people from foreign countries countries outside of America said that um foods are um see they say that um foods the foods that the food made them um made them flare their tempers up made them angry made them lose it and go crazy and act weird and made them sick and gave and gave them headaches so yeah um yeah and that's why america is the this the most sickest and the most fattest the fattest um nation in the world i mean hold on a second uh sorry about that um an old man kept uh, came walking by um had to stop the video um okay um let me resume um okay um yeah america is the is the most fattest and the most sickest sickest it's the most sick nation in the world excuse me um um we got the low got the lowest life expectancy um people don't live longer you know like like people in other countries because because in other countries like countries like I say um Britain and France are more healthier because their food doesn't have all the chemicals and high fructose corn syrup and poison and a lot of junk in their food plus they have um prevention in their health care that cause that that that's responsible for for them living longer and people in France live longer as well 
So the life expectancy in those countries are high and the life expectancy here in the United States is very low. Yeah. Also um also um I notice about um men when men get older, when men hit the age of 40 or older, um their metabolism slows down. Their testosterone production slows down. And it leads to um, loss in muscle and weight gain in the stomach. I mean, that's why you see these old guys, some of them, not all, run around with big fat pop bellies. You know, they look like they're they look like they, they look like they have the, the stomachs, the bellies of a pregnant woman. And that's just the result of all of that. Um, yeah, and you know, and the foods that these men eat, you know, they eat a lot of like foods that are high in sugar, high in cholesterol, high in fat, high in salt, um, high in calories. Yeah, that, that's the and that's the reason behind all of that. Um, my dad is one of the one of these men, and um, he passed out one day doing yard work. And um, he had an artery, he had an artery um, blockage that caused him to pass out. He was passed out. He was sitting in a walker and um, sweating. And he was crying and said, oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to be with, be with um, my brother and everybody. He was crying and all. And he was asking for me. Asking for, asking for me. Um, the artery blockage is from him. Um, eating way too much cheese way too much processed foods you know and, and foods again high in sugar high in cholesterol high in calories high in fat high in salt high in calories yeah so um so that's that's why he had that artery blockage that caused him to pass out an artery blockage to his heart and that caused him to pass out and now he has a pacemaker pacemaker we to call it to his heart so I don't know if he still has this or not so yeah um, me um, I'm exercising I'm trying to eat right and take better care of myself um, People in America don't take care of themselves. They eat a lot of foods that have a lot of chemicals, high fructose corn syrup, salt, fat, sugar. They have all of this. They have all they have all of this. Um, they eat all of this and they don't eat right. And there's some people in this country that exercise and want to eat and want to eat right and take better care of themselves and um, I'm one of them. Yeah, I'm, it's kind of sad really, you know. Also, um, I want to say here, um, yeah, I'm, <clears throat> yeah, Americans, have the worst health than any other people in any other country you know you know there's some countries out there you know people who have better health because um in those other countries outside of America because they care about the people's health and they want all they don't want all the all the junk and the chemicals that that food here in America has. I mean, they don't want, want all of this stuff in the foods and let and let their people eat this. Yeah, because they care about the people's health. Here in America, the government here doesn't give two fucks about people's health at all. They don't give a damn at all.
they could care less. You got these um corporations that push all of this that push all of this um tainted food onto the people and it just profit off of people's destroyed health. And it, and they just they just they just profit and get rich. I mean these corporations they don't care about the people's health at all. And that's just, I mean, that's just heartless. Like, why would anybody want to live in a country where the government and corporations just let the American people just eat all this unhealthy food and let them just get sick and die? I mean... I mean, people here, I mean... Someone here in America Someone here in America Talked about um, The coronavirus Is the Is, is the Is the, is the um, Excuse me Someone here in America Talked about The coronavirus Or COVID-19 Is the Invisible enemy well <laughs> there's yeah there's um there's another there's there's two more enemies i think it's just one or two but this there's, there's there's another enemy and it's helping is is helping the coronavirus kill people the broken, dysfunctional, cheap healthcare system. <laughs> and what else? Um, and the unhealthy um, foods here in America. COVID-19. The broken, dysfunctional healthcare system. And the unhealthy foods here in America. So... Those are three enemies right there. Three of them. And it's just disgusting, really. I mean... <laughs> so, yeah, um... <laughs> those, are, those are all the threats to people's health here in America. But nobody... Don't want to talk about the health care and the unhealthy foods. And also notice um, fruits and vegetables, lean meats, and healthy, f and healthy foods are expensive. And, f and foods from the grocery store unhealthy foods from the grocery store and fast food places are cheaper that's just I mean that's just that's just the problem right there I mean if foods if um, fruits and vegetables and lean meats and healthier foods if if people lower tax if the taxes was was lowered was dropped was dropped for these um f for these um fruits and vegetables and lean meats and the taxes are raised for unhealthy foods like like unhealthy on um, fast foods and and unhealthy on um, foods at the grocery store i mean I mean, people who like to eat junk food will go crazy and lose it and complain. Yeah, just these um, just these, just these these big fat, just these, these just these big um fatties, these fat ass people. So yeah, I mean, so there's no um. So there's no help there. 
um, at all. So, yeah, um, so, those are a lot of things like, so those are the things that, that explains why people in America have the worst health in the world. And this is true. Um, <laughs> And I heard that um people I heard that um if people um drink diet soda all the time um that will lead to them get developing dementia and Alzheimer's disease when they get older. And if people don't drink um diet coke all the time and exercise, it will protect their mind and um keep them from developing um Alzheimer's disease when they get older so yeah um, <clears throat> yeah, and the throw in um, childhood obesity all that um, and also um, I heard on the BBC World Service that um um, s s the scientists found a way for men to live as long as women do. I mean, we all know that um, women, some of you guys know or some of you don't know, um, women live longer than men because they have um, robust immune systems. And they believe in cleanliness and, they, and they're caregivers. And, and the cleanliness is they wash their hands a lot so yeah um, they're gonna they're gonna extract um, something from the female hormone which is known as um, estrogen and they're gonna put that into men and that will lead to men living longer just as long as women do and I told I, I said I told this to to a hygienist, which is a woman of Italian descent, at this dentistry that I went to to get my teeth cleaned, and she and she was shocked at this, and she said this oh um uh, the estrogen is gonna make is make is gonna make men cry, and make them act all feminine, and I said no not really um it is going to just improve their immune system. Just gonna extract something from the estrogen, which is um, the female hormone, and put it in to, to the male um, to a men's um, immune system, so they can live longer, you know, and that can help them out and protect them better from the um, coronavirus or COVID-19. So yeah, um, so um, yeah, all the unhealthy foods, um, health issues, and obesity make up the problems, make up the huge problem of, of poor health here in America. So yeah, um, so that's all I gotta say in this video. Um, <laughs> I hope. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I just, I just got a new subscriber. I mean. Some of the some of the people who are subscribing to me have private accounts, and the ones who sub to me with private accounts don't show up in the don't show up on the um, notification bell. Just, I mean, just on um. Just want to go and check and see this, see them the, 
the um, the number of subscribers that I have on this channel so yeah um so yeah I'm got 53 subs in my archive channel new Manchester classics have four subs you know I know it's um nobody is isn't watching any of the, any of the um videos that came off this account that's on that account so yeah um, so I think eventually someone's gonna watch those videos so yeah um, so yeah I mean I'm just probably gonna leave that account up in case um I decide to shut this account down so yeah so anyway um that's all I gotta say in this video Peace out. Bye.